This video will cover how to replace the inlet and discharge valves along with the pistons, seals, and guides on any XWP pump. Here are the tools used in this video to repair the machine. Here are the kits and their part numbers needed to service the pump. To replace the six inlet and discharge valves on this pump, remove the valve caps on the manifold with a 32 mm socket. Next, using a pair of needle nose or valve pliers, remove the valves by grabbing the plastic valve cage while twisting and pulling straight out. The inlet and discharge valves may look similar on this pump, but they are not the same. The bottom inlet valves have a silver spring with less resistance, and the discharge valves on the top have a black spring with more resistance. Make sure to clean the thread sealer off of the plugs and ports for your valves to prevent damage when reassembling your pump. Put in the new valves, making sure they are seated and in the correct spot, with the silver on the bottom and the black on the top. Apply a thin layer of thread sealer all the way around the threads when reinstalling the valve caps. Make sure to torque the caps to 2,212 inch-pounds, or 185 foot-pounds before the adhesive dries. Never use an air gun when reassembling your machine, because this can lead to injury to you or damage to your pump. To access the pistons and their guides, start by removing the eight head bolts with an eight millimeter Allen socket. To take off the pump head, rotate the crankshaft with a wrench to help push it off of the pistons. This allows enough space to support the bottom of the head and to push off with your thumbs. Be careful not to apply too much pressure to one side of the head because this can crack the ceramic pistons. Once the manifold is off, there will be parts either on the pistons or still in the head of the machine. To remove the parts off of the pistons, Start by using a wrench or your hand to rotate the crankshaft. This will push the parts toward the end of the piston, making them easier to twist off. The best way to take parts out of the head is to use a rear piston guide extractor. We sell the headpiece to it on our website. If the seals underneath the guides can't be taken out by hand, use a small flathead screwdriver to pry them out without scratching the inside of the pump. The first item to be put in the manifold will be the head ring with its flat side facing down. Next comes the high pressure seal. Its concave side should fit over the support ring. New seals are difficult to fit in. Make sure to work them in at an angle and to only use your hands. The front piston guide comes next with its smaller side going into the head first. To put the rear piston guide in, start by replacing the O-ring on the outside. After that, you can now place the brown backup ring into it. The low pressure seal goes on top of the backup ring with its concave side sticking out of the guide. 
if the guide is put in squarely, it should click into place. To replace the pistons, remove the piston bolt using a 10mm socket. If you are not replacing the pistons, make sure to scrape off any residue that is accumulated on the outside. Make sure to scrub off anything you missed with the knife. Once your parts have been thoroughly cleaned, you can put the copper plate and the piston back on. Add the copper washer back on and, again, make sure to clean off any thread sealant from the bolts before putting them back in. Now we can apply a small amount of thread locker all the way around the bottom on the piston bolt before retightening them. The piston bolts should be torqued to 71 inch-pounds. To properly put on the manifold, turn the crankshaft so that the outer pistons are even. This helps with pushing the head back on squarely. New seals may be tight, so you can use a soft face hammer to evenly tap the head into place while supporting it. The head bolts should be torqued to 442 inch-pounds, or 37 foot-pounds. Torquing in a crisscross manner can help evenly tighten the head onto the pump, 